precisely from Oman to London. And I'm actually a partner in this organization, the Eagles Coordination Foundation. This is an organization that was given back to me due to our passion when we see what are healthy. States, and uh, I happen to be the chairman for this foundation, the Eagles Corrugatio Foundation. The Eagles Corrugatio Foundation is actually a foundation that was born based on the frequent news and information we get from people when we go out for healthcare information that we actually have seminars around. Now we see a lot of poor people that normally would want to treat themselves, but they don't have money to treat themselves. And that's their pain, is actually what gave birth to this foundation, because we thought of it that it would be wise if there be a body that can take care of these poor people that cannot actually pay for their bills. I am by name Kizito Leonard Anomasone, precisely from Oman Kutulun Lewi. And I'm actually a partner in this organization, the Eagles Corrugation Foundation. This is an organization that was given back to me due to our passion when we see people that are healthy. You know, it's one, there is one thing that has been said that health is wealth. A healthy society is a wealthy society. But our organization, as a matter of fact, have been standing for some times now. And the particular thing we do is that we sensitize people on information, very vital information about chronic diseases. Yeah. On our long term, like partnering with most of the international bodies that we partner with, they provide us with the information that we need which we give to people, something like the CDC. But when we go and give this information, we also run tests like general body checkup and also administer treatment. But there is one major problem that we have found that is constant amongst many places, many churches, many organizations that we have seen that is very rampant there. And this problem, this particular problem, we don't see it when we go to places like all these club meetings, places that we have rich men. We almost see it places that we have mixed crowd, more of poor, and then maybe some number of rich persons. And the thing is that when they diagnose someone, give the person the person's problem, then also give him also the solution only the, like that's the treatment. There is one problem there, which is that the people most times cannot actually afford their treatment. Yeah, due to the organization have a policy that any person that you run test on, you have to follow up that person for a very long period of time. We continue following those persons up, even if they cannot actually afford the treatment as of then, because probably they can afford it maybe later. But there is a particular thing, which is that most times on our long-term follow-up and something, some of them we get to get a report of something like that the person that we ran test on with diagnosed with a particular thing, that that person is in a critical condition now. Or maybe or in, in some worst case itself, you get a story of something like that the person just died recently. And that the person died, you even find out, you get to find out that is, he died out of that same sickness that you diagnosed him from. The particular thing, truth be told, most of those persons, they wish that they are very healthy, they want to be healthy. But due to that, they cannot source the means. They now decline to fit whatever that fit brings. Yeah. And this is very much like all the very rampant in many places. That's why this organization, the Eagles Corrugation Foundation, took this up as a mission that we want to achieve in the first period of this year, 2023, to actually help out people that don't have means, that don't have means of treating themselves, help them out in treating the most of these chronic diseases. This particular program I've been held here was it last month, and as a matter of fact, we saw the happiness, the type of joy that was in the faces of the people that we are treated, that the program was actually, that benefited from the program. Lots of them, you hear stories. One was like that, him as an individual used to stay in Uruguay outside. Lots of stories. Na banko, recently, even I wrote one at banko, about Banima for Patankure, and all those things. Currently, he's doing nothing, and he has through. 
the story was very serious that he came from a very far distance when he heard the announcement from the radio that they are holding a free treatment. From a very far distance, he must have called it. We have gone to hospital several and went and knocked a new job with the call 2000 something. But most times, he will not buy them. Just ordinary 2000. Even our people are really suffering. That's why this organization, the Eagles Corrugation, should actually take up on ourselves to help people. Actually, we have gotten some sponsors, lots of persons sponsored this particular program. We reached out to lots of persons because we are looking at that we're going to treat at least, over that time, about 100 persons. My name is Treat 200 persons of this chronic disease, Apple Lord, it shall split. It's something that maybe you'll phone yourself, you didn't speak later about, can buy about 500 and something thousand. Even the key, that person six months treatment. And in as much as we are projecting for that hundred months, for that now, or grow big, or grow big, and just that this organization is actually an organization that is still at the stage, at, like at still a young age. That's why we seek out for sponsors. Thanks be to God, we got some sponsors that complied. That's why this program is being held today. And we still hope that by the end of this program, that we are going to add more laughter, more smile to the faces of people. Thank you very much. Um, my name is uh, Kanegede Emmanuel. Um, from Delta State, and uh, I happen to be the chairman for this foundation, the Eagles Corrugatio Foundation. The Eagles Corrugatio Foundation is actually a foundation that was born based on the frequent news and information we get from people when we go out for healthcare information that we actually have seminars around. Now we see a lot of poor people that normally would want to treat themselves, but they don't have money to treat themselves. And that's their pain, is actually what gave birth to this foundation, because we thought of it that it would be wise if there be a body that can take care of these poor people that cannot actually pay for their bills. Yes, they would look for somewhere, but some persons have looked for a way to actually get money, but they could not. And some are dying in that disease. So today, is one of the things we plan to be doing for them. Today we'll be having free health tests. We'll be actually giving them treatments free of charge. And we're actually focusing on the poor people. So that through this, we believe that God will take all the glory. We actually, I thank my team for what they have actually done. I thank everybody that is actually doing one thing or the other to make this program a success. We have our sponsors. And uh, I've actually mentioned them. They have actually helped us so much. And through their support, this program is holding. The program is sponsored by four, five, six sponsors from here in Newi. And then our name is the Eagles Kurugesho Foundation. And we believe that a healthy society is a wealthy society. We can only do as little as we can. The remaining part is for God. Thank you.
instead of come and help my family with the burial of my father, I prefer to help us with the treatment of my father. Now the question this poses to us is, who will give this help? Who will give this help? Is it the government? Is it the traditional class? Is it the politicians? The rich folks? Who will give this help? We can continue to think about who will give this help and the help will never come. But I remember the words of President John F. Kennedy and I would ask not what your country can do for you, rather ask what you can do for your country. Now this inspiration is the reason why this body, the Evil Corporation, is existing. It is our only way of helping to solve the problem in our country. We hope that with this particular foundation, men, women who are sick, who have one or two chronic diseases, but cannot find money or does not have a helper, that a foundation like this will begin to be the answers to their prayers. We hope to start with treatments for diabetes, stroke, heart problem, arthritis, ulcer, infection, and prostate cancer. We initially planned to render this help worse, not worse. But with what we have seen as the plight of the poor man when he is sick, we will realize that this free treatment for the poor is not something that is supposed to be done for us, but should be something that will be done very well. And we pray God to help us to be able to fulfill this in Jesus' name. In other countries, things like this have been encouraged. In other countries, you can see homes that are meant for aged people. You have foundations like the British Art Foundation, the Arca Foundation. You have the Combat, Combat Lightness International. You have things like Doctors of the World. You have foundations like Project Kilo, Project, Project Kilo. Now, you have things like Prevent Cancer Foundation. You have foundations like Susan G. Comer Foundation. You also have foundations like World Diabetes Foundation. And in other countries, what do they do? They look for the people that cannot help themselves and they begin to take it up on themselves to help those people. We cannot take pride in saying we have all the resources to continue this project more than this one time we plan for it. Yes, we believe in God's provision as our main goal. And our passion to help the need, together with your prayers, that God will continue to give us the finance to be able to help those that cannot help themselves. And as God answers our prayers, those of you that cannot get help will always come to our company, the Eagles Foundation, and help will be given to you. We already have a team of volunteers that give their different services to make sure this foundation is running. And also, we hope that this foundation will spread from this anagram to other parts of the country. And for this reason, we are still very open to have more people, more volunteers, more companies that wish to partner with us, either as someone that will be a partner or someone that is a sponsor or someone that will be a volunteer. And you as an individual, one or two of the services we can render to make sure this vision of health
invited the Lord, who will always accept your proposal. If you are or you have a medical personnel, that I'm talking about if you know or you are maybe a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, a lab scientist, and any other person you know or you yourself you are into the medical field, I think your service will be needed. But that will be if willingly you are able to volunteer yourself to give your service so that we can together help the poor. We as a body who believe in this evil adage that says, and you come and you are very welcome. Thanks to our sponsor, people like Mega Money, Sadiq Engineering Construction Group, Great ICC Money and Gas, who wear oil and gas, and who will get it. They need to put them from KK to China, Mr. Zach and Mrs. Amaro, who pray that God will finish you in Jesus' name. Amen. We also thank St. James Catholic Church for giving us this podium and this venue that we are using for this program. May the Lord bless the parish priest and every public body of this organization in Jesus' name. I must not end if I don't appreciate this my team that has actually put in much. They have sacrificed a lot to bring about the progress and the actualization of what was once in me. Because together they have done much. May the Lord bless them for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Rejoice here for who has come. For the poor can be healthier, starting from here, near you. No matter the chronic disease situation, I think this foundation is an answer to somebody's prayer. And God will do us help to actually help those that can connect themselves. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless Anambra. God bless our country, Nigeria. Remember, we are one. And together, we can make a change. Thank you very much.